the Harvard Graduate School of Education, working at the nexus of practice, policy, and research. I had not been to a KIPP school before, and so I was very pleased that uh, Dean McCartney and I had a chance to visit the KIPP school in Lynn. Hi, how are you? Hey. Come on in. Josh, this is Howard Gardner. Hi, Howard, how are you? I would say, in, in reflecting on our visit, there, there were three things that, that stood out for me as being unusual, particularly for a school that deals largely with disadvantaged uh, young, young people. The first thing was um, how engaged the students were. I went from one classroom to the other, and I rarely saw a student who was not focused, uh, paying attention, and when questions were raised, uh, seemingly uh, eager to, to participate. Well, one of the things that really impressed me was just how much support the leadership team at KIPP gives to uh, new teachers. Uh, every classroom we went into, it was very clear um, that the principal knew what the strengths were of the teachers and talked about the ways they supported them um, so that they could become the best that they could be. Then equally impressive, and I say this as a teacher, is how much each of the teachers were on all the time. Uh, it's very hard to be on all day. Uh, the third thing's a bit more difficult to uh, describe, and that is I was struck by the flatness of the class of the classes, and flatness I mean here in a positive sense. You couldn't tell from one student to another who was a better student, who was a worse student. My kids have to buy into the school, they have to want to be here, they have to feel like they belong, they have to find something in here besides the instruction. For kids say eight years from now I'm going to go to college, I'm going to do my homework tonight, it's just not where our kids are at when they come to us. So. Do they shape up quickly, or are there some kids that just aren't doing their homework? Both. We have kids that have been horrible at their old school, and one day here, and they're like, their parents are like, whoa, hallelujah, what happened, right? And then we have kids who are in eighth grade, who are st four years into it, who are still resisting. I did have some concerns. Um, one of them had to do with the flatness. When you treat everybody in a very similar way, uh, those students who might catch on to things very easily can get bored um, and one wonders whether there's individual attention to students who either have particular problems or are uh, stronger students either across the board or in particular subjects. So in sum, I was quite impressed by my visit to KIPP. Um, I'm glad I had a chance to go. I'm glad I had a chance to talk to the administrators and some of the teachers and uh, I certainly think that the young population that is at that school is very well served and uh, I hope that uh, as they say KIPP continues and multiplies.